Hey guys, it's me Alexa. Today I have a really beautiful beginner sequence for you. We work, we do a little bit of core work, waking our awaken the core and open up our fascia little tight suit at the beginning and then we work through the sun salutations and then we flow through the dancing warrior and finally we end the session with some core work and with juicy and juicy twist and uh, then a sweet and relaxing shavasana. It's 35 minutes. I, um, I'm sure you enjoy it. So let's get on to the mat. Come to the front of the mat and then just ground down first. Just take a moment, take your hands to your heart, close your eyes, take a deep breath in. Exhale out through the mouth, maybe bend the knees while you're doing that, just feeling your weight on the floor, waving your body from side to side and acknowledging the element of water within, so you are fluid, you're actually made out of water, most of it, mostly. Good, and then exhale, release the hands down, roll the shoulders a little bit out. Still the knees are really soft, so you're feeling your whole body suit, your whole fascial suit moving. And then just turn your palms out, ground down with your feet, exhale. And as you exhale, the lower abdomen draw up and in, and then inhale, rise the arms up. Look up if your neck is okay, but bring your chin a little bit back. And then exhale, bending the knees, navel draws in, drop the head is heavy, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, come halfway up, the shoulders move away from the ears as your spine extends. Exhale, navel draws up and in, still hands to the floor. Step back and come onto your knees. And coming into a half plank here, taking your, your hands onto underneath your shoulders or you come onto your fists if you have problems with your wrists. And then just staying here with the exhalation, bring your hips back. Then keep the hands nice and firmly on the mat. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, elbows move back. Chin comes in so you most um, beginners, they drop the head. So I want you to bring the chin a little bit in. And then exhale, lower down just a little bit. Inhale, come back up. Exhale. So working on this core stability here and warming up the arms. Exhale. Inhale, press your hands into the mat. Exhale, feel a good stretch in your lower back as you move your hips towards your heels. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, and exhale. That should feel really nice. Good, inhale, coming back up. Exhale, bend the elbows, now come all the way onto your belly. Come onto your forearms, elbows beneath your, your shoulders. Inhale, press the hands into the floor. Draw your heart forward, chin is in. Lengthening and then press the tops of your feet into the mat. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, as you exhale, lift the hips up. Look towards your pelvis, pressing into your forearms. Inhale, open up the heart again, little back bend here, and exhale, warming up the core, lifting up here again, pressing your heart in between your shoulder blades, up towards the sky, and then as you inhale, draw yourself forward again, finding length, shining your heart, looking out of very soft eyes, and exhale, lifting up, inhale, into your heart and exhale lift and now stay here for a moment if you can and, and then we shift the hips to the right just dip them down and then back to the left inhale come back to center over to the right so we just want to build your core connection core strength and awaken the core inhale and exhale that's right come on a little bit more exhale Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, coming back down. And then with your next inhalation, lift your heart up. Exhale, lower your chest down. Take your hands next to your shoulders or to your chest. Navel draws in, bring the hips back. Now have the knees out wide, met with distance apart, feet are together, and then walk your hands out, feeling a good stretch in your groin, in your lower back. 
If that is too much for you and you can't bring your hips back, you can always bring a cushion or blanket or towel in between. And um, you just go a little bit less. That's totally okay. As we're progressing, we're working and opening the body towards these poses. And inhale, coming now onto all fours. Now we do a half down dog pose, so you have your knees below your hips and then extend your arms, walk them out, pressing the hands into the floor. If you can, bring the forehead onto the mat. Walk the hands a little bit further out, coming up to your fingertips and then let the lower ribs draw, knit towards one another. Come onto your fingertips and feel a good stretch in your armpits. Take another breath here and then slowly walking back up onto all fours. Beautiful. Now we prepare for down dog. The hands are below your shoulders. You first you connect to your center and we extend from the center out into our limbs, into the hands, into the feet and then finding a really extensive feeling here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we extend from the center. So with the exhalation, connect to your center just below the navel. And then imagine you would press down from the center into your hands, into your toes. Keep the knees bent and then extending here. As your knees are bent, I might have to walk a little bit out. So I'm just feeling into first how does my down dog feel like. Lift the fingertips off the mat and then bring just the tips of the fingers down and press the first knuckle of the index finger and the thumb into the mat. Rotate your upper arms out a little bit. Let your shoulders draw down your spine. Tilt the pelvis so that the pubic bone moves closer towards your navel. And then from here, extend the legs to the heels towards the floor. They don't have to be extended. This is not mandatory. We work towards it. Pedal your feet a little bit, finding a stretch. And you probably feel that in your arms already. And if you're one of those people who still want to need to build up the strength in the wrists, it's totally okay to come onto your fists like this. Or you roll up the front of the mat. That's what some students of mine do as well. And then have high heels for your hands and that takes the pressure out of the hands as well. Good. And then very slowly walk your feet towards your hands. Knees are deeply bent to deepen the hip creases here as well. Remember fluidity is the key and you want to invite your body into this fluidity to remember that it is there. And then just very slowly pressing your feet into the floor, rolling up. The knees move forward, lower abdomen draw up and in, ribs draw in, and then the shoulders open up. And then just open up. Step it forward again. Now when we have prepared the body, opened it up a little bit, we do a simple sun salute, building up to the dancing warrior. Exhale, taking the hands down. Remember first, ground down. Inhale, bring your arms up, rise up as you root with your feet, you extend the arms. Exhale, swan dive. Deepen the hip creases, knees are bent. If they have to drop the head, shoulders are relaxed. Inhale, extend the spine. And for some of you, this is then the hands just below the knees. And I don't want to see any rounding here. This is also good that if you go to a class, your teacher can adjust you here, and I do that very often, especially in this pose. So maybe you have to bend the knees if you have tight hip strings, hamstrings, hip strings, hamstrings, so you can extend the spine, or you just come a little bit higher. Exhale, lower down. We step back with the right foot. Take the right knee onto the floor, have padding on the mat if your knee is sensitive still. Your body will get used to all this. Exhale, inner thighs scissor together, coming into a lunge. And then from here, inhale, extending the arms up. Good, instead of 
bringing too much weight into the front of the thigh. I want you to focus on bringing the pubic bone forward, drawing towards your navel, activating your center, your core, reaching out. And exhale, lower the hands down. Step back into your half plank, or for those who are keen, you can come also come into full plank. Staying here, don't drop the head, lift the chin up and in. Bend the knees a little bit and feel your tailbone moving back if you're in plank pose. Plank pose, plank pose, and then extend the heels again. Good, we lower down Chaturanga, now everybody lowers the knees down. We want to have good alignment here. The elbows move back, the shoulders, so you squeeze into your armpits, chin is in, lower down. Tops of the shoulders move upwards, exhale down. Now a gentle cobra, exhale without using your hands much. Tops of the feet are on the floor. Exhale, press the hips into the floor and then inhale, lift your heart up. Can you just check, take the hands out and exhale, lower down again. Now we move with this exhalation. That is the goal. If it's not happening yet, doesn't matter, into your down dog and extend the arms here, pressing into the first base knuckle of index finger and thumb. Good. Take your feet together to center and find stability. From your center, just below your navel, extend the right leg up, or just keep it down. And then from here, exhale, step forward, and you can do that in two or three steps. You can take your hand and help you forwards, and then step up with your right foot to your right thumb, Left knee comes down, inner thigh scissor, inhale coming back up. See how we're rolling like a wave through these movements, isn't that beautiful? Front of the body moves back into the back of the body, back of the body moves forward into the front of the body. So we're finding actually extension here to the sky. Exhale, lower the hands down, tuck the left toes under, step forward with your left foot, and lower your head down, exhale. Inhale, come halfway up, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, lower, prepare to come up. Inhale, come all the way up, reach up, reach out. Exhale, hands to the heart, pose. And then again, let your whole body interconnect again, every cell interconnect, so you may wave a little bit just to find here the opposite of like a, a soldier. I want you to, to find this whole openness and fluidity of the, the possibility of fluidity in your body. So you may want to move from the left to the right, bending one knee and then the other, opening the body more and more. And then exhale, come to stillness. Inhale, rise the arms up. Center is connected. Exhale, flow down, lower down. Shoulders are relaxed. Third eye is relaxed. Inhale, move up. Shoulders draw back. Smile. Exhale, hands to the floor. Step back with your left foot. Lower down. Again, center. Move the inner thighs together. It's a core connection here. Stay high, inhale, bring the arms up. Move the chin a little bit back as you look up and reach up. Exhale, take the hands down to the floor, step back with your left foot, come into a half plank here, or full plank, your choice. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, you come either in the up dog, if you have the experience and can lift the knees off the floor, if you're an up dog, really engage the top thighs and then as you would want to round your lower back you bring the tailbone away from you towards your heels or you stay in your in your gentle cobra pose here and now we move back into downward facing dog exhale take your feet together inhale lift the left leg up exhale step forward with your left foot right knee comes down fluidity remember we interconnect all our limbs with our center our center with all our limbs and extend from there rounding into the earth 
as we reach up through the sky, to the sky. Exhale, lower the hands down. Tuck the right toes under, step forward, drop the head. Relax. Inhale, halfway extension. And exhale, lower down. Bend the knees, inhale, bring the arms all the way up. And exhale, hands to the heart. Pause here. Reconnect. And then exhale, release. Now the dancing warrior. <laughs> now the dancing warrior sequence. Finding again a little bit of fluidity in your body. So you want to move your body a little bit. Open up in any way that comes intuitively to you. Remember, as we have. You can feel like you're made out of, you know, connective tissue. And on some places, oh, if you reach out in different directions, it's tighter than on the others. And with very intuitive movements, sometimes we can open them up. Good. And then roll out. This might be a bit weird, but you'll feel spacious. Exhale, let's rock and roll. Inhale, bring the arms up. Core is connected fluidly. Draw down. Exhale, drop the head. Inhale, come halfway up. Shoulders open away. Exhale, step back with both feet now into your down dog. Remember, you can also do the half dog so you can come into your knees and extend the arms. From your dog, dog come into a half plank or full plank, shoulders over wrists, hips are high, elbow moves back, lower ribs knit towards each other. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, bend the knees, down dog. Keep your feet together now. From your center again, inhale, lift the right leg up to the sky. Have the right hip pressing down, extend here. Exhale, in whichever way it feels comfortable for you, step forward with your right foot and place the left heel onto the floor. Inhale, coming up, warrior one. Now shimmy your front foot into the center of the mat so that the front heel, back arch lining up, and extend into warrior two. Now, bring the top palm up, inhale, lift the top hand over your head, extend, and exhale, warrior two again, and then bring the hands down onto the mat in one or two steps, or taking your hand as a help, step back into a down dog. Inhale, plank or half plank, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And exhale, do what you can do. We're in Germany, we say there's no master who fell from the sky. So we all have to work our way towards wherever we see ourselves. Now, inhale, extend the left leg and you feel a good stretch in the outer right hip, probably in the right hip. Half. Enjoy that. Exhale, moving the knee towards your chest, lifting the hips high. Step forward with your left foot next to your left thumb. Right heel moves down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, shimmy the front heel so it lines up with the back heel. Exhale, warrior two. The arms stay nice and floaty. Tailbone moves down, ribs knit together, front palm moves up, inhale, lift the hand over your head and you don't even have to bend so far to the side, you can just reach up, keeping the center connected with your fingertips, exhale, warrior two and lower down here, stepping back into down dog or half dog, inhale, come back into plank, exhale, flow down, Inhale, up dog or um, cobra pose. And then exhale, moving down and back into your down dog. Good. Take a breath here. Have the feet now met with distance apart. And then turn your heels towards the right. 
Pressing into your left hand, feeling a good stretch on, on your left side, relax your neck. Coming back to center, heels to the left. Good. Come back to center and then take your feet together. Bend the knees. Inhale, look forward, and then we can do that with one, two hops, three hops, four hops. <laughs> Stepping forward, or you step forward, coming to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, open the heart. Exhale, fluidly, lower down. Inhale, bring the arms all the way up, reach up, feel the space in your body already. Exhale. Oh, thank you, you're feeling better. Good, we do a chair pose now, also called fierce pose. Have your feet, the big toes touching. The heels slightly out. Inhale, bring the arms up. Let the tailbone draw down towards the floor. Imagine you have like a dinosaur tail here, drawing the navel in, bend the knees a little bit more, and then come onto your heels. Building up strength around our knees. Staying here for a moment. Praying for help. Imagine someone reaches and helps you, pulls you up. Exhale, take the hands to the heart, lower down into your forward bend. We go one more round. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back into a plank or half plank. Oh no, sorry, into down dog. Because from here, we can really connect into a healthy plank as we ripple our spine forward. Have the tailbone moving towards the heels and the shoulders over the hands. Exhale, lower down, smile. Inhale, open the heart, freedom. Feels so good. Exhale, down dog, how are you going? Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, step forward with your right foot next to your right thumb, take your time. Left heel moves down into your warrior. You're grounded through the feet coming up. Inhale, bring the arms up. Be focused and warrior-like here. Shimmy the front foot in line with your back foot and float into your surfing warrior. Inhale, we reverse the warrior. Bring the arms up, arm over your head. The hand of the back, the back left hand moves down the back hand. And then exhale, now one element we add, we bring the forearm to our front thigh and take the back hand, the arm over our head alongside the ear. Press into the left foot, smile, either come back up, warrior two, well done. Exhale, bring the hands to the floor, take your time, step back into your down dog or half dog. If you need a rest, you can come always onto your knees. Inhale, float forward, plank or half plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or a really good cobra. Fully okay. And then exhale, down dog. Beautiful. Other side, take your feet together. You're in the flow now. Inhale from your center, extend your left leg. Exhale, step forward with your left foot and do that in a few steps, it's totally fine. Right here comes down, press your feet into the floor first, connect your whole body, every cell with your center, so your spine finds freedom as you extend the arms. And then bring the front foot in line with the back arch, exhale, warrior two, floating here, lower abdomen lift, chin draws in, the neck is long, lift your top arm front arm over your head, and then exhale, other side, moving your forearm onto your front thigh, the top arm along, and then press into your back foot, and reach up through the top arm, inhale, coming back up, dancing the warrior, exhale, lower down, step back, navel to spine as you do so. Now let's ripple forward one more time. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift. And then exhale, come onto your knees into a child's pose. Have your buttocks on your heels. Walk out, take a break here. Take your hands 
behind you if you like to release the shoulders. Take a few breaths here, letting the heart rate slowly neutralize, normalize again, reflecting on your body and mind and movement. Now lift up, come up to a seated position and take your, your feet through so you can either cross your legs and just sit through or you swing them over the side. Now roll down onto your back, so bring one forearm down and then the other slowly rolling down, beautiful. Take your feet next to your hips. Have the, the, see that the heels are close towards your buttocks. Inhale, lift the hips up. Chin is parallel towards the ceiling, so you keep a natural curve in your neck. Exhale, roll the spine back down. Inhale, as you lift up, you press your feet into the floor and see that the knees don't splay out or fall in. And then exhale, roll down again. Let's do it a few more times. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, lift once more, and exhale. Very gentle, not much to do. Now lift your knees up, squeeze the knees into your chest. Stay here for a moment, shoulders are relaxed. Now, as you exhale, your navel moves closer towards your spine and you extend your left leg, squeezing the right knee into your chest. Lift your chin up, as you, your head up as you bring your chin in, and then we change sides, bring the left knee in. And then again, changing sides, keep on going, change sides, and again, change, change. A little bit of core right at the end, change, and change. Very good, change, and then once more, and change, bring both knees in, head rests on the floor. Take the legs up to the ceiling. So if that gets too strong in your lower back, I want you to always be connected here. So see what you can do. You either bend the knees always, extending the legs, bend the knees again, bring the legs up. Bend the knees, bring the legs down, exhale. What you also can do is, you can take the hands underneath your buttocks first and then work like this. This takes a lot of pressure out of your lower back, but eventually you want to build the strength here. So really decide to engage your core, engage the muscles, squeeze here. And if you are a little bit more advanced or stronger in the core, you can have the legs long extended. Exhale. Inhale. Of course, also with the hands underneath. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Beautiful, staying here. And then take your arms over your head, lift your chest up, lift up. Exhale, inhale, extend the legs, extend the arms if you can, or you just um, have the knees bent as usual. And then exhale, bring it all together again. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, lift your chest, stay here. And then exhale, release. Oh, squeeze the knees. Good. Take your feet onto the floor. Bring the right foot on top of your left knee. Flex the foot, really important. And then just Bring your hands around your left knee, feeling a good stretch. But here you really want to be very careful with your, with the flexibility of your knee, with your, with your knee, with your top leg knee. Um, so that's why it's important to push out through the heel of this upper foot. 
So the toes line up with the knee. Good. Feeling a good stretch in the outer hip. Piriformis. Good. And now bring the left foot down and we do a little twist, extending the arms to the side. Lift the hips up to the side and then drop the knees to the left. Gently. Staying here, trying to bring your right shoulder still on the floor. Feel your rib cage open, your diaphragm getting a little stretch, and then come back to center. And we do the other side, so shake out the legs again. Ooh, good. Now take your left foot on top of your right knee, and you can even just stay here and just press the left knee away. That's all if that's enough for you, or you grab your right thigh, your right shin bone, mm, enjoy a good all hip stretch. Very important and um, also prevents lower back pain as our hips and knee troubles, so we don't want to forget our hips never. Um, and we uh, also hold a lot of a mental tightness and patterns in the hips, emotional stuff that gets released. So be open for the new, be open for the free and be open for the kind. The kindness to yourself especially. Now lower the right foot down, we cross the left leg just simply over, have the hands to the side, lift the hips up, come onto your right hip, and then drop the knees to the right. Staying here, look over to the left and see your spine spiraling even though it's elongating. Stay here, breathe. And as we relax more and more, we're lowering our cortisol levels. We're building stress resistance. And in the storms of life, we're having set up the strong sails that move us easeful through the wild sea at times. That's what we do with yoga. Bring the knees back up and release the knee and then shake out the legs. Shake out the arms for a moment. Yeah. Good. Now, you can either have the feet met with distance apart, drop the knees towards one another. For your deep relaxation, have the palms facing up. Or you extend your legs, if that's comfortable for you. Also met with distance, wiggle your hips a little bit. If you feel like it and you feel freer, take the hands on the belly or the heart. Do what feels good for you. Bring the shoulder blades under a little bit. Take a deep breath into the nose and exhale out through the mouth, letting go, sinking into your mat, inhale again, exhale through the mouth, and then once more inhale and exhale, let go, beautiful, let's just stay here. Letting every breath guiding you into a more fluid being. See yourself dissolving in your surrounding. Allow yourself just to let go. With every breath a little bit more. With every breath, we build the muscle of relaxation. The muscle of calm and peacefulness. So 
so you can either stay here for a little bit longer or join me coming up. Take your knees into your chest, bring the knees out wide and then wrap the soles of your feet together and your palms. The, uh, from the Kundalini tradition. And we wake up all our nerve and knees in the arms and the soles of the feet. Beautiful. And then take your knees into your chest, chin to chest, and then we roll forwards and backwards. And come to a seated position. And very simply into Sukhasana. And if you like, you can either take your stool or take a cushion or a blanket to sit a little bit elevated. Take your palms in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in, connecting with your heart center, exhale. Recognizing your love, your true being. And then let your love being the force of everything you do today. Passionate, strong like a warrior, and dancing like someone who's in love. Fully fulfilled with joy and life. And then bow your head to your heart, to your core and to the earth. Namaste.